Hello, sixth graders. We are going to continue our lesson, reproduction of oviparous animals. Birds lay eggs. Birds are oviparous animals. Birds reproduction. We will talk about birds reproduction in general and especially the chicks development. The mode of reproduction of birds is sexual reproduction because it requires the participation of a male and a female. In the chick development, the female is the hen, the male is the rooster, and the young is the chick. The hen and the rooster participate to give a chick. Internal fertilization. The type of fertilization in birds is internal since it occurs in the female's body. The ovum produced by the hen is also called the yolk, is fertilized inside the hen's body. On its way down the reproductive system, this is the reproductive system of a hen on its way down here is the yolk on its way down the reproductive system the yolk wraps itself with the white surrounds itself with the white then with two membranes two transparent membranes at last it is surrounded by a shell before it is laid For the embryo to develop, the hen keeps the eggs beneath its body to worm them. We say that it sits in. The period when the hen sits in is called incubation. The incubation period is different from one bird to another. This is an egg. It's made up of a shell two membranes, air pocket, where air enters and allow the embryo to feed, the white, the yolk, and the germ, the ovum, and the sperm, unites to give a germ. At the yolk surface, a small spot called germ develops and becomes an embryo. The germ teacher grows and becomes an embryo. The embryo develops by taking its food from the yolk and the white through numerous blood vessels and breathes the oxygen from the air that traverses the porous shell. At the end of the incubation period, the egg hatches. The chick breaks its shell and comes out of the egg. At birth, the chick looks like its parents, the parents feed the chick, and the parents defend the chicks against predators. Thank you.